Voters will cast their ballots in just over a month, but this election isn't only about who's on it, but the 12 amendments you'll also be voting on. Tonight, News 13's Alex Thorson takes a look at Amendment 11 and what your vote means for those in Florida. Do you know exactly who and what you're voting for, or do you need to do a little more research? Definitely need to do some more research. It's just like being in church. You don't want to say amen to something that you don't know anything about. On this year's ballot, you'll find Amendment 11, and it has three separate parts. One part simply deletes language approving a high-speed rail. Another deletes the savings clause, ensuring that criminal defendants are prosecuted under the most current laws on the books. The last part deletes discriminatory language in the state's constitution. Constitution, stating aliens referring to non-U.S. citizens can't own or inherit property. It would not make a substantive change to who could own property one way or another. Instead, it just kind of clarifies what's already the law. It, it, clean, it cleans up bad wording. Although Amendment 11 is on the ballot, the votes may not matter in the end. Florida's Supreme Court is still deciding whether putting the three topics onto just one amendment violates the rights of those who could have conflicting views on the three. I would vote to go ahead and change the wording of it. It'll make it a lot simpler on everybody. Amendments will only be adopted if 60% of Florida votes yes. Reporting in Bay County, Alex Thorson, News 13.